Okay, by the end of this video, you'll be able to easily generate images using Open Web UI and Dolly 3. But before we get started, if you haven't already set up Open Web UI on your computer, check out part one in this video series down in the description below, which will walk you how to set up Open Web UI on your computer step by step. All right, let's get started. I've got Open Web UI pulled up in my browser. So if you haven't already, go ahead and log into your instance of Open Web UI. And next, navigate down to where your name is. And we're next going to go to the settings section. So I'm going to click settings. And after we go to settings, Settings. Since we're going to set up image generation with an open web UI, we're going to next navigate over to the images section here. Once we're at the images section here, we're not going to use the default setting here. We're going to use the open AI Dolly setting here. Now, what we're going to need to do is get our API key within OpenAI. So I'm going to assume you've got an account with OpenAI. I'm going to hop back over there and get my API key. And that's where I'll meet you next. Okay, once you've logged into your OpenAI account, you're gonna next wanna navigate over to your API keys section here. We're now gonna click API keys. I don't have any API keys created, so I'm gonna go ahead and click create new secret key. Now you'll be presented with this screen here. I am going to name my key Open Web UI Demo. And just following some security best practices here, I am going to select restrict it. I am only going to give this key access to the model capabilities. It doesn't need any other access. All right, so I'm going to select right. And next I'm gonna scroll down here and click secret key. Okay, so you can see my key has been created. I'll delete this one before I post this video. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this key and we're gonna hop back over to the Open Web UI interface. Okay, I've got my Open Web UI instance pulled back up here. Again, I'm at the images settings section here. Now, be sure you copy your API key for OpenAI. We don't need to change this here. We'll leave that the same. And next, what I'm going to do is paste in my key here. And then one other thing we need to do is turn on experimental here. So I'm going to turn that on and I am going to use the Dolly 3. There's Dolly 2. You can save some costs if you want to use the lower quality model. I like to use Dolly 3. It generates better images just for you. So I'm going to leave that setting there. And the other thing I'll call out here is we need to set the image size. Now we're only able to enter three different image sizes here for Dolly 3. Now I've select 1024 by 1024. That is the smallest size image that you can create using the Dolly 3 model. Now I'm going to jump over to the documentation really quickly to show you where you can go and get these image sizes so you know. Okay, I've got the Dolly 3 documentation pulled up here and we can scroll further down here to get an idea of the different image sizes that we can use and they call out that it was trained on certain types of images so therefore it can only generate 1024 by 1024 1024 by 1792 or 1792 by 1024 size images so I just wanted to call that out to you so you know where to go get these image sizes all right let's hop back over to open web UI Okay, we're now ready to save our image settings. So I'm gonna go here and click save here and we can see settings were successfully saved. So I'm gonna close that out. Now we're ready to start actually generating images. All right, so let's do that next. Okay, now that we set up our image settings, let's start generating some images here. Now I'll walk you through this process step by step. Now one thing I do wanna call out here, I am using Llama 3 Instruct at the top to create my image prompts. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom here and I have an image prompt already put together here and it says, create a one sentence image prompt of a lion and tiger facing off, use your creativity. Now, the reason I put one sentence image prompt here is these models tend to get quite wordy when you start asking them things. So I wanna limit it in its output. All right, so let's go ahead and send this over to the model and see what we get back here. And this is the output that the model gave us. So we can use this output or we can go here and tweak this output here. So if I wanted to change some of the verbiage in this output that the model gave to me, I can go here and click edit if I wanted to. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna see what it gives me based on this prompt that it's created for me. Now, in order to create the image, we're gonna go here and we're going to hover over the image icon down there. And we're just gonna click that to generate image. Now, this may take a few minutes to create that image for you. So I'll be back once this image is done being created. Okay, I'm back and you can see the image that's been created for us. So it did a pretty good job at creating the image based on the description of the prompt down below. Now, I will call out one thing. This is not entirely free because we are using our open AI API key. Now you may be curious on what the cost would be on that. So if you hang out to the end of the video, I will show you how you can see how much it's going to cost for creating certain types of 
images using Dolly. Okay, let's try creating one more image here. Now, one thing to call out during the editing of this video, I did change the dimensions of the image. This image dimension is 1792 by 1024. So let's go over to the settings again here and go to our image section and let's change this back to 1024 by 1024 and click save. And I'm gonna exit out of that. And next, let's start a new chat. I'm gonna go up and click new chat and I'm gonna paste another prompt that I have here. And I am going to enter that in there. And I said, hey, create a one to two sentence image prompt of a metallic blue Ferrari 458 Italia racing through a mountain path. And for those who aren't big into cars, that's just an exotic sports car. So we can see that the output that we got here for our image prompt. So let's go down here and click generate image and see what type of image it generates for. So I'll be back after this image is done being created. Okay, I'm back and the image has now been generated and it did a pretty good job at creating the image based on the prompt that we have here down below. Now, I know I mentioned if you hang out to the end of the video, I'll show you how to check out the prices for generating images using Dolly 3. So let's jump over to look at how we can go about seeing how much this is going to cost us for generating images. Okay, I'm back and I've got the OpenAI pricing page pulled up here. Now it covers all the different model costs here. What I'm going to do is just run a find on the page and type in images here to take me right down to the image model section here. Now we can see the different breakdowns by model here. So we can see Dolly 3, standard Dolly 3 HD and Dolly 2. So what we're using here is the Dolly 3 HD. And so it's costing roughly eight cents per image when you're using the 1024 by 1024. And then when you use the other two dimensions, it's costing 12 cents per image. So I do wanna make you aware of that and be transparent that this is gonna cost you something if you're using OpenAI as your backend model. If you watch my channel, you know I really like open source models, but I did get a comment down below. Someone wanted to know how to set this up in open web UI using the Dolly model. So that's why I'm creating this video here. But I really do like focusing on primarily open source models. But once there's other image generation models that are open source that can run on lower tier hardware, I will start covering those. Right now, you really need a beefy GPU to do really good image generation on your computer with the current models. All right, thanks for hanging out to the end of the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, hit like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I create videos like this on a weekly basis. So again, thanks for hanging around and see you in the next video.